Welcome. You're watching the thrift store rundown where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Picture this. I just got married to my husband on July 27th this year, right. and thank you. So you're newlywed. The vows and the first kiss as husband and wife have been exchanged. The first dance has been danced. The couple was honeymooned. So now what? Facing one of the most common dilemmas plaguing most newlywed couples. I bet you can guess this most perplexing question. Yes. Who cooks? He does most of the cooking, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot better at it than I am. Well, everybody has their own skill. Yes, everybody has their own skill. But I think it's high time that we at TSR make you more equal partners when it comes to holy stovetop matrimony. And I think this is just a cookbook to help out with that. This is the newly run cookbook, authored by the host of Quick Fix Meals on the Food Network, Robin Miller. Over 200 simple recipes and original meals for the happy couple. This was purchased for $3.99. And for the record, when I posted the haul that this item was featured in on Instagram, Robin Miller said herself, that's fantastic. We're making a difference around here, folks. One bargain hunt at a time. To add a touch of ambience, knowing that it is optionally warranted, but highly recommended, I have my trusty Echo So 5, whose name starts with the letter A, played a fireplace video loop, complete with authentic sound. Because, you know, we like to be a little theatrical around here when it comes to, you know, thrift store review videos. The more theatrics, the better. But you know what? I thought that the minimal amount of theatrics with the most amount of quality, the better suited you will be to watch this review from start to finish. And it won't take very long because I'm only going to show you three special occasion menus. But first, let's have a look at the table of contents. So, these 200 recipes are divided into your typical um, cookbook chapter categories like pizza and bread, pasta and risotto, Meat, chicken, turkey, duck, and game birds. Beef, pork, veal, venison, and lamb. Seafood and shellfish. Side dishes, sa salads and salsas. Desserts and other sweet treats. And here we have special occasions. So, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner, one year anniversary, Sunday brunch, Super Bowl Sunday, picnic for two, breakfast in bed, when in-laws come for dinner. Take a guess at which three special occasion menus I'm going to feature today. I should cost you up front though, no recipe photographs whatsoever. First up, Valentine's Day. On the menu, broiled lobster tails, steamed asparagus bundles with tomato vinaigrette, basmati pilaf with toasted almonds and cumin seeds, and a mixed berry sweetheart shortcake. We're less than a month away from Valentine's Day, folks, and hopefully by that time, or preferably a couple of days beforehand, I'll have something planned for you that is going to top last year's cookie-themed extravaganza of a more. To all the souls I've wooed before, P.S. That's just me cooking. I would prefer for it to air on February 12th if I can produce it way ahead of time before that because, well, a certain Netflix teen rom-com trilogy that will mercifully Wrap up. I bet you know which one that is. Hit! It is very strong title inspiration for that particular Valentine's Day video. Go check that out by clicking the link in the description below, as well as checking out my Amazon Echo So 5 review. Anyway, stay home this year. Please, more than ever, take heed to Robin's advice. And avoid sharing the most romantic night of the year with dozens of strangers. This meal is light and easy. You won't be stuffed or too tired for a little romance. Nothing says it's a special occasion quite like lobster. And as you tie those asparagus spears together into tight bundles, remember the bond you have with the one you love. Serve the meal with a bottle of wine, a few candles, some special music, and the night is off and running. So too is this review. These are the recipes. All four of them. Two of them on two pages apiece. And again, no recipe photographs to speak of whatsoever. And that's a darn shame. 
because I think the universal appeal of this particular cookbook, light in weight and light in size and the amount of pages, could really benefit from some recipe photographs. Next menu, Sunday Bunch, because, you know, TSR has reviews mostly every weekend, and we all need a pleasant Sunday brunch while we're all watching TSR, right? I hope so. Anyway, on the menu, we have spinach and cheese cheese with caramelized salads, onion tart with parmesan, swirled pumpkin cake, pecan raisin, sticky buns, or pecan raisin. I prefer you use pecan to add a little more fanciness to your Sunday brunch with your bay or your bay elect. Apple cinnamon coffee cake, chocolate chip pancakes, and crunchy roasted granola. I love Sundays. Those casual days when everyone just kicks back and relaxes. I also love serving Sunday brunch to friends and family. There's no Saturday night stress. And nobody's in a rush to go anywhere. Invite a few friends over for brunch and serve some or all of the recipes below. Below? I think you mean on the left here. If you want, serve a fresh fruit salad on the side to round out the menu. Make a big batch of Bloody Mary's or mimosas, champagne and freshly squeezed orange juice to serve at the meal. A brunch party is an excellent way to wind down the weekend or kick off the work week, week with a revived spirit. So this is your Sunday brunch menu right here. On page 157 is your spinach and cheese cheese. And the remaining six recipes, I think, should be featured one page at a time. Yes, they are. And finally, when the in-laws come for dinner, on the menu for that, all too important and all too daunting special occasion. Surf fire sis kebabs, rice corn and green chili tamales, and chocolate swirled cheesecake. Preparing that first meal for in-laws can be pretty frightening. You want the meal to be perfect, and you want parents to rest assured you're both eating well, quote-unquote. Don't be nervous. In fact, with these recipes, be proud. Serve tiny beef kebabs with impressive rice tamales, little towers of flavor. We have a salad by tossing together mixed baby greens, arugula, and halved cherry tomatoes. Top the salad with saved parmesan. Use a vegetable peeler. And your favorite vinaigrette dressing. As we all know, the stuff that comes in a can, including that green can we're all too familiar with, is not romantic at all. It's lazy. It's low quality. And last time I checked, nobody wants a lazy, low quality spouse in their lives. For the grand finale, impress everyone with a silky smooth chocolate swirled cheesecake. Serve dinner with a deep wet wine such as a below or Cabernet Sauvignon. Have all the ingredients cut up and ready to go before your guests arrive. That way you'll have time to socialize before dinner and you won't be stuck in the kitchen. Do you know what the time is for that? It's a French term and it stands for your place or mine. Actually, <laughs> your place or mine. Your mise en place or mine. A little food with this Seth John joke for you that I accidentally stumbled upon. Um, everything ready in its place. Sophia Sis Kebabs, the rice corn and green chili tambales, and the chocolate swirled cheesecake. Robin Miller, host of Quick Fits Meals with Robin Miller on the Food Network, shows couples how to make exquisite food from simple recipes. Overflowing with more than 200 original recipes, easy to follow instructions, and personal advice on navigating the kitchen. Just what every couple needs to embark on a lifelong adventure of great eating. A helpful glossary of ingredients and food prep terms close out this book. Every recipe includes preparation to cookie time along with tricks and tips from the stovetop to the dining room table. Miller's friendly, expert guidance will soon have newlyweds enjoying intimate candlelit meals, hosting the first sit-down dinner party, special occasion meals including a one-year anniversary dinner, and when in-laws come to visit, 
breakfast in bed or a picnic lunch, and easy fun dinners they can prepare together. Simple recipes and the special features make the newly read cookbook essential for any newly married couple. Retail prices, $17.99 US and £12.99 in the UK. I owe you one Robin for the Instagram shout out by the way. However, there is one other pet peeve that I should mention, and I'm sorry if this sounds a little finicky, but I peruse through this book twice. Not one time did I see the word delicious used to describe any of the recipes or featured in any of the pages at all. I think this is one of those times where he wanted to hashtag defy delicious. So, expect adjectives like the words incredible, wonderful, fantastic, because really, cookie for two should defy delicious. That would make for a really cool hashtag, right? But Chef John doesn't know what that is. He told me himself on Twitter. He doesn't know what the hashtag defy delicious means. I'll tell you what that means. It is to come up with a recipe that tastes so exquisite, so fantastic, that the word delicious does not come into your head, and if it does, anyone who dares utter it, it's just uttering a swear word through a certain essence. I get Robin's missing, but you know what? It's kind of a pet peeve to me, so I gotta take half a clap away for that offense, as well as another half a clap for the lack of recipe photographs again. None whatsoever. So I think that this book earns a very fair and very good 4 out of 5 claps. This review is of very important significance to me, albeit bittersweet, because as of tonight, my mother, L.M. Torres, will officially become a newlywed herself to a gentleman whom she known for only two years and proposed seven months ago to by the name of Old Dallies. I have some reservations about that. If you want to know my full reservations, tune in tomorrow and I'll have a long talk with you. Okay, not very long, but I'll have a good talk with you about why I have these reservations and why it is kind of bittersweet for me and why, in my opinion, I think it's far too soon. Until that time, though, newlyweds, including my own mother, L.M. Torres, listen up. Cooking for two is not a game. But if you have somebody like Robin Miller guiding you along the process, making it more of a breeze, less of a chore, and way more fun than it ought to be, between the two of you and this, there's bound to be quite a love connection. Thanks for watching, and again, tune in tomorrow to hear my full thoughts on my mother getting married. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.